everybody, Brian Franz here with Sentinel. Behind me is Monarch, Missouri, which is in Chesterfield, actually, the Monarch Fire Protection District. Their new Rosenbauer 100-foot platform. So we're gonna do a little tour. Check this thing out, it was at FDIC, so some of you may have seen it. This has a lot of really neat features that, uh, that we're gonna go through and, and let's check it out. So uh, we're standing underneath the bucket here. First thing right out of the gate are these really neat 2215 numbers. This is their truck number, obviously, uh, but really neat feature to put underneath here. 100 feet up in the air, you can see them playing today. The just a, a, a neat feature here. So uh, here in the front bumper, we got a booster reel. Uh, I believe this is a hundred foot of uh, three quarter, or actually it might be 150 foot, three quarter inch booster. Uh, and then over here a trash line as well, and then just some additional storage. So a lot of room up here in the front bumper for these guys. Uh, Monarch in the grill. I don't know if you can see it because we're outside, but there's a backlight, like a blue inside of here. So this stainless uh, grill overlay looks really neat at night. Kind of pops out with the back, the blue backlighting on it. So. Working our way around the side here, kind of a Rosenbauer, uh, if you see our quick hit videos, this is a neat one. It's got our uh, handrail and the little step to get up on the bumper, so something kind of cool there. Um, eight inch race roof. This is our 70 inch long cab. So we got uh, smaller driver and officer gear compartments here or EMS, but this is our smaller one, so we consider it gear. Uh, the aerial goes over the eight inch raised roof. So most of the time there's a trench or a flat roof, something along those lines. Uh, this one goes up over it, which really gives you a lot of cab room inside of here. Doesn't sound like eight inches is a huge difference, but it just changes everything inside the cab. Two forward facing seats, EMS cabinet in the middle. Just a lot of, a lot of neat layout here. So working our way down transverse area here with a uh, little giant ladder inside of there. Uh, this, I, I missed it. This is an X15 motor. Uh, with 600 horsepower, 257 inch wheelbase. It's uh, 12 foot nine, I think, is the overall length on it, or overall height and about 47 foot long. So, uh, enclosed pump compartment here. It's got a Foam Pro 2001 foam system on it with 30 gallons of Class A foam, 500 gallon tank. It's got the new IC uh, control rods here. So these are cable driven, but really neat, really smooth uh, IC products here. And it's got our, um, oh man, I'm, I'm missing what we call this thing, but our, our Logicolor, Logicolor pump panel display. So that's where we do this little deal with the truck and then uh, show everything on side of it. So a bit neat feature. And then the easy fill system to fill up the foam tank, uh, built-in butterfly valves, that kind of stuff rolling down here. Aerial remote control sitting in there tied to the door jar. So if you pull the remote out, and then take off with it. Uh, it sets off an indicator on the Vista screen and then it sets off the red light in the cab so that way you know that you're missing the remote. Uh, all the shelving layout was done here at Sentinel. So toolbox, uh, bottles, pull out tilt downs, all that kind of stuff as we work our way around here. You'll notice it's got full depth compartments all the way around. So it really has a ton of compartment space. The other thing that that eight inch raised roof does on the cab, you can see where we raise the body up a little bit. So it's, it's taller. So not only are you getting more cab room, if the overall height doesn't affect you as a department, but you also get another probably three, four, five inches on body height in each one of these compartments. So compared to a flat roof, there's, there's more compartment space in here for sure. All blacked out theme, rolling our way back here to the back of the truck. Torque box, ladder storage is great. Uh, this is gonna hold three inch, so I think it's 500 foot of three inch hose in here. This thing pulls out. And then you'll see here on the side, I won't pull it all the way out, but here on the side it's hinged. So that way when you reload it, this all flips over, and then you can reload the hose from the side of the truck. So dead load, three inch in here. And then up here uh, is our easy load hose bed. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do a quick hit video on this. Check this out if you haven't seen it before, but tied to the uh, aerial PTO. Turn this on, the whole hose bed comes down off the side, so now you're reloading hose at waist height. This one is designed for 600 feet of five inch hose. You can get them bigger, so if you need 1,000 feet, 1,200 feet, whichever it may be, you just lose compartment space because the box becomes longer. So easy loads are neat. Everybody says, oh, you got hinged doors down here. Yes, we integrate the easy load, so you can't put it down whenever the door's open. You can't rip the door off. We do that. And then again, just a lot of neat shelving and trays in here. We're using here at Sentinel these different trays. 
a little bit different. It's got a big neat bar across the front here. So opening, getting the trays in and out, you can grab it with the gloved hand from anywhere. Really smooth, easy operation. Swing out tool boards. These turned out great. A couple big tool boards, and then we mounted on this back side. We got a spacer back here. Um, so we put some Unistrut behind there, built these panels for them. So the so Lunar can actually take these off the truck, mount all their stuff on them, bolt them back on. You don't have a bunch of holes going in towards the tank. Nothing like that. And then the latched, latched here on both sides to open and close. It. So. Again, just a lot of storage, uh, no generator on this truck. So you see they got some outlets. So we really try hard to pre-plan on where we're gonna put stuff. We, we do a lot of outlets. We tie those to the shoreline and or the inverter. Uh, so that way they can run it off of when the truck's plugged into the engine house, everything's running. Or if you did a generator or an inverter, you got all that stuff on here. So speed lays. Just a lot of room. Jacks forward. We talk a little bit about this, but the jacks are all the way behind the cab, right behind the cab. So it gives you a wider footprint. So whatever your terrain is, whatever your setup is, rather than having them at the front of the body, or yeah, at the front of the body behind the pump house, uh, just gives you an extra five or six feet. So you got a little bit more room in there. Then our LFD compartments here, a couple of transverse New York hooks. So whenever you're getting out of the cab, boom, you can pull those. And again, working our way through here. This one doesn't have a generator, but it's got an inverter tied into the shoreline. So. They did a really good job laying this out. This is their second Rosenbauer. So they did a good job. First platform, first one was a truck, but did a, uh, a really neat job to it. All whale and warning lights, all high vis uh, fire tech guardian elite um, scene lighting. We got 12 volt fire tech lighting on the sides of the bucket and on the front of the bucket. Just a real, a lot of really, really neat stuff on here. So uh, thank you again to Monarch. Check out our, our Sentinel quick hit videos. Uh, check out our YouTube page, subscribe, give us some comments. Tell us on here what you guys want to see from us. We try to do these videos more so for all the departments so that way they can get ideas on what they want on trucks and the things that they're looking for. So if you got a comment, if you want to see something different, if you got ideas, hit us with all those things. We'll make those, uh, those videos for all of you. So again, thank you on behalf of Sentinel. Thank you, Monarch, and uh, everyone out there on your second Rosenbauer. We really appreciate everything.